situation yeah. was extremely catastrophic. Large number of people who are killed, large number of people who are injured. The ability of the staff who was in that particular area, not far away from the incident, was not enough for the sake of just looking after all the cases. People were running, paramedics were running from one place to another, trying to help someone, and also getting busy informing other people that some of their relatives are technically dying and they cannot be treated. The triage that was done on that spot was extremely heart-wrenching. You have large number of people. You start prioritizing, looking at the cases that are like easy to deal with and the, some of the cases that are expected to live. You give up on some of the cases that are technically dead, either clinically dead or just struggling and dying at the very same time. I saw a father who was rushing and pushing all the staff to do something to his daughter, and I saw him being informed by the medical teams that there is nothing that can be done medically and that only palliative care, which means painkillers, can be offered to his daughter and that she was technically dying. Some brother was also screaming and trying to get people help his other brother but then eventually he was dead 25 bodies were kept in the morgue of the hospital uh, 45 cases were just identified as people injured with different degrees of uh, of wounds and also with different degrees of burns because it was a tank shell that targeted them and it seemed there seems to be a secondary explosion either by the fire that is in the place or any other sources people were suffering people were losing People were screaming and overall an atmosphere of sadness and despair was engulfing the whole area back then.